to my channel. Today we are going, going. My brain is melting from all of the wedding planning. It's serious. When you guys are watching this, it will be the week before my wedding. So I figured I'd sit down and have some wine and play with some makeup items that I have not been able to test out for one reason or another. Maybe some old favorites that I just haven't gotten around to using again. I am in my PJs. <laughs> These may or may not be Chris's. We don't know, but they're comfy. I just wanted to come on here and relax with you guys. Wedding planning is just too much right now and I need an outlet. I need an escape for just a little while. Thought why not sit down with you guys and play with some new and old makeup. Um, I don't know if that intro actually explained what this video is about. Wine and makeup basically is the gist. I'm gonna try out this Dr. Brandt Needles No More, No More Baggage. It's an eye depuffing gel. I wanna see if this actually does anything. Ooh, my eyes look pretty puffy right now. I'm trying really hard not to wear a ton of makeup, especially as we approach the wedding because I don't wanna overload my skin when I know on that day my face is going to be covered in makeup. Okay, what is happening? Oh, oh, I thought it was gonna go everywhere, folks. It looks like carrots. Oh, it's like tinted. Mm. I've never used an eye puffing gel, so I don't know really what this is supposed to do, but it feels very cooling. As you can see, I do have my eyelash extensions on. These things are the bomb. If they didn't cost so much, I'd wear them all the time, but I think the first set is like $150, and then each fill is $70. It just adds up and... I don't know if it's worth it to that extent, but I do love them and I needed to get them for the wedding day. I have eyebrows on. I just realized that. I guess I'll just rock the brows. I don't really feel like taking them off and putting them back on, so this is just what we're working with. Okay, my eyes feel kind of like they're being pulled. I think they look pretty depuffed. I don't know, what do you guys think? It's, it's almost 10 o'clock, it is 9.30. So don't blame me if I act cuckoo in this video what happens when you're planning a wedding. All right, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier foundation primer. This is the radiant one. I figured since I'm doing this at nighttime, I don't need a long lasting primer, but I really like the glow that this one has. So I'm going to put this on. I feel very glowy and also very broken out because of the stress. <laughs> I wanted to try this Kula light medium organic BB plus cream. I got this in a BoxyCharm like a long time ago. I've never tried it before. It has SPF 30 in it and it says it's featuring a bouquet of pale damas white and apothecary rose stem cells. What does that mean? Does that mean there's a bunch of flowers in here? It says it's supposed to help boost your naturally luminescent glow. Support fresh healthy looking skin. A barely there feel while a sheer tinted coverage blends and perfects your skin tone. It looks like there's roses in here. I'm going to go wet my sponge. Lately, I have been loving this EcoTool sponge. It has, um, it's obviously dirty, but it has two like slanted edges. I use this side for my concealer and then I don't use this side. And then I use this side for foundation. And I've, I've been really liking it. I feel like it doesn't soak up the product too much. I'm a little concerned it's gonna soak this up, but we will see. Wow, so when you guys are seeing this video, I am gonna be a week from being a married person. What's it like, married people? Any advice for me? This is gonna be weird. It looks like it has little specks of shimmer in here. I don't know what that's about, but that's the color. It's definitely off. Oh, oh, no. Barely there. It's literally not even there. It smells like roses. And what is it doing to my skin? Tell me I'm not the only one that I feel odd about this product. This is a sample size, so I'm obviously going to use up all of this in one setting. But is it turning my skin more pink? I don't know what's going on with the smell. I don't know what's going on with the shade. What is happening to my skin? It feels 
like it's turning my skin pink. And I, uh, hmm. <laughs> I have to get up. I don't like this this product. This is not good. So I'm gonna go wash my skin off and let's try something different. Okay, it's just not. It's not looking good. Not about that life. So I'm going to reapply the foundation primer. I have a feeling this is gonna be a very long video. So sorry. You could get a glass of wine and join with me if you are of age though. So I grabbed this foundation. This is the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. I have the shade Porcelain Ivory Light. Looks like this. It's very moussey. So I'm just gonna pick a little bit up with a sponge. Oh yeah, much better. This is gonna make me pretty matte. Obviously, it says matte in the name. If I remember right, I do like this foundation. I have not used it in a long time though. Do you guys like applying your foundation better with a sponge or a brush? To me, when I go back and forth, I feel like a sponge makes my skin look more airbrushed and smooth, whereas with a brush, it looks almost more streaky, just with like any foundation I use. And if you are using a sponge, what is your favorite sponge to use? All right, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me. I, I love matching this concealer with foundations that have lighter coverage. It just looks really nice with like all foundations. It just looks really nice. It doesn't give too much coverage, but just enough, especially just for an everyday basis. I don't wear Tarte Shape Tape every day because to be honest, it doesn't match with the coverage that I normally wear on a daily basis. Very pretty. I gotta fix my lips, homie. This is not looking good. Foundation lips are the worst. I'm gonna try out the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I think I've used this two other times. I don't really like this cap. It feels very bulky to me, but I think that the powder is good. I have the shade 10 Fair Light. I'm gonna go in and set my skin even though it looks like my skin's pretty much set down already. This is a really pretty foundation, especially if you have oily skin. It sat down matte almost right away. It doesn't look heavy or cakey on my skin. It's just looking really nice, really pretty. And a good like high medium coverage. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this foundation, but it's really good. I'm going to use a bronzer. I don't know which one. Let's try the ColourPop Pressed Powder. This is in the shade I don't know. It's this one. I did a video including this bronzer not that long ago, but it does not say what shade the bronzer is once you put it into the actual compact. It definitely is a warmer bronzer. This would be a really good shade if you like just came back from the beach or want to look like you're going to the beach. I think you have to have just a lighter hand with this bronzer because I look very sun-kissed right now. I don't know, do I wanna do blush? I don't even think I have a blush. Let's just skip blush for today. I'm gonna to test out this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. I bought this probably a year ago. I think I've used it twice and I don't remember my feelings on this foundation so I'm just gonna like swirl it all. Seems very powdery, not super pigmented. It's more pigmented when I swirl these two shades together and it definitely adds more sparkle to your cheeks rather than a sheen, which some people don't like that look. But it's a huge pan. And if you build it up, it looks really pretty. Oh, I had a blush. Had a Mally blush. Let's add that, okay? All right, adds a touch of color to the cheekies. I'm gonna use my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is a great base. This is a really great base, kind of like the MAC Paint Pots. And I'm gonna set that with the same Maybelline Fit Me Powder. If you're new to my channel, Chris and I are getting married and we're going to Ireland for our honeymoon. So I'm curious if you guys have any fun trips that you're doing this summer. Now I'm going to move to using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This is the eye palette, mixed in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I have not used the Jaclyn Hill palette since it came out, like in all honesty. 
the shades are really pretty, but I feel like it's just kind of blends in with the rest of my palettes. This shade and light palette by Kat Von D doesn't have any matte transition shades in it. It's just all shimmer. Let's start with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm taking, oh gosh, don't spill the wine. I'm taking these two shades right here, mixing those together and putting that into my crease. These are really pretty transition shades. All right, we can just leave it like this and go home. That's the nice thing about the eyelash extensions is they just make your look complete without having to do a whole lot of work. So I'm gonna take this uh, brush right here. It's the MAC 217. It's just a little thinner. Oh, uh, I didn't even show you guys what I was doing. I'm using this shade in my outer V, kind of in my crease. So if any of you have been following me for a little while, you know I have been going to school for social work. And as of last week, I graduated. I am officially done with my master's in social work. Super exciting. I am so ready to be done with school. I'm just going to use this. It's not the best, but it's just going to make it work. I'm going to use this underneath my eye right here so the product doesn't fall down on to my face. And I'm going to take this on my finger. fix it. I'm like always so nervous to apply eyeshadow with these lashes. All right, I'm going to go back in with that two, MAC 217 brush, take the same brown and put this into the crease just to blend out that eyeshadow. I don't know how I like this look, but it's okay because we're moving on. I'm going to take this brush. It's a flat definer. Go in with maybe this shade right here. Put that on my lower lash line. Just a heads up, for the next couple of videos, I'm probably not going to be doing this intense of makeup. I'm probably going to keep it pretty simple just to not overdo like my lashes and stuff. I'm going to take a pencil brush. Blend this out underneath the lash line. I don't really know if I like this look. That's probably what happens when you drink wine and do makeup. So I blame myself. I'm going to take this MAC liner. It's the Costa Riche MAC liner. And put this on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take my mascara. This is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion. Put this on my lower lashes. I do want to test out this uh, lip product though. This is from Smashbox. I think this is just their like liquid lip, but not their always on liquid lip like the other, the other one. It's a metallic red and I have not tried this. So I just want to, I just want to try it for shits and giggles. Oh, look at that. Looks like I'm a vampire. This does not go at all, but I wanted to try out this liquid lipstick. And it's very sticky. Mm. Like, I feel like this would get everywhere. So, I guess this is the look that I'm going with tonight. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me sitting down and sharing with you what's going on in my life and testing out with some new products. Obviously, we don't like the eyes. We're going we're gonna to wipe this off and go to bed anyway. So here in the next couple weeks, I will be getting married, be in Ireland all the fun stuff. I will still have videos going up for you guys two times a week, so be on the lookout for those. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on my future videos, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!